So now, the, 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 the days when you used to do injection under pressure yeah. with pumps and rods and yeah. stuff, you know, at the time I would talk when I was you know, doing my apprenticeship and that, you'd just to stay there until all this liquid started coming out of brick and, you know, trying to find a good uh, brick and if this is a good brick obviously, but if it were an old barn conversion, we all small stone, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. nearly impossible now with this sort of stuff. This is a cream, so same sort of method. Drill every two bricks, a third apart, yeah. three quarts of depth in. And then all we do then is just squeeze this into, well, fill it all up, yeah. and that cream then will soak throughout the brick, and then start putting in the chemical damp course in there. But and then up the walls is for uh, imitating doorways, uh, door reveals, window reveals, or not like that. So. Um, but yeah, we've got to sort of go second course. First course is ideal, but again, if it's so it fills that brick up the same as before. Yeah. Chemical, so it can't go. Yeah. Away, yeah. So it can't raise up. But yeah. what a lot of people might get missold that way is because if this like this is, it's a solid wall, solid wall, yeah. and that rubble will be filled up. Yeah. So that could just be over the top of that. So it's just me. Uh, that's not going to get a chance to fully work. That's why I don't, if I'm going to see a product what's got rising damp, and it's got this type of uh, uh, property, what's got this sort of problem, and it's that, this type of construction, I'll even say that's the way to do it, or I won't do it, yeah. because you might get 60 chance, 50%, 60% chance of it working, but because if it doesn't, you've got it, and you've took plaster off and everything else, for the sake of doing it, that method, which is 100% way, that you've got a chance of that's not going to work. And for that simple chance, then I'd rather walk away from Dogby. The only time I use that is if I know the cavity is clear, so there's no bridging effect. I like the, the penetrating damp from above ground level, so your rainwater can't bridge over uh, and into the internal wall. So that Obviously, the last place the wall is going to dry at the bottom. So, if that all that rubble is pissed through or wet through, um, then that's just going to be able to bridge it over that chemical damp at the bottom. So, what would point is not the no point of it being there. If it's a cavity, then that can stop that part. It can't bridge. It can't do a uh, bridging effect through the internal wall. Um, or I use this for internal uh, walls rather starting knocking both sides so if you've got like a kitchen wall a room rather starting knocking both sides off because usually it's not going to get there not many times that they're going to get that wet the kitchen walls or dividing walls to the stage where you've got to knock plaster off so once plaster wood uh, skateboards come off then you can put your chemical dpc through there see what condition plaster is and then you can then go in and put that injection so that's from rising and that's yeah. from coming that way yeah, yeah well that, yeah. that'll stop it coming from yeah. that way the rising dam like i said yeah. it'll still on external walls or you know which is classed as external walls in fact bridging if, if, if the you've got a cavity or it's a single skin obviously if it's an external one it's usually a single skin but if it's a, a cavity wall then you, you've got a good chance of that working um, but then, if it's an old construction, that method there, whether it be rising damp, penetrating damp below ground level for basements, penetrating damp above, uh, if you're in ex super exposed area, bar conversion on the hillside and stuff like that, yeah, put the weather shield on because that's going to stop all your stone, brick, and pointing, and everything else getting deteriorated. But 100% way to stop that is through that slurry tanking method.